is mine because Christ is mine salvation is mine because Christ is mine healing is mine Let Jesus himself 
said he was constant now to set you, to redeem you, to set you free. Let him see you there. Tonight is your night of redemption in Jesus' name. If you ask, if you say, if you is coming to you now. Salvation is coming to you now. All your sins, all your transgressions, all your iniquities are laid on Jesus. And if you say, I accept that, that is mine. Wherever you are, it's bound and eyes closed. Just raise up your hand and say, yes, no, I'm here. Redemption, I want it. Salvation, I want it. And I want to keep Salvation, forgiveness, freedom from sin. By the power of the Lord is coming to you now. Anyway, you are just raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up now. If you are raising up your hand, you are saying now that redemption is mine. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Every since you right there now, and Jesus is smiling at you right now. He says it is finished. It will finish all condemnation. It will finish all the guilt in your life. You're raising up your hands. Stand up now and say, yes, Lord, I want that redemption. Yes, Lord, I want Even that salvation. Even if your salvation. team's not in the yes, same Lord, place, your I work want can your be. You just need and Asana. Asana now. organizes work, so teams know what to do, and I why it matters, and how to get it done. To talk, Try it for so free at Asana.com. That's A-S-A-N-A. That all the guilt will be taken away. As we're standing up, we tell the Lord, Lord, I come. Lord, and Lord, I receive it now. That redemption that you purchased, that redemption that you provided, that redemption that you promised, that redemption that is precious, I receive that now. As you're standing up, I'm going to pray with you. This is what I'm Father, in the name of Jesus, what a loving God, what a wonderful God you are. You said, I should look unto me all the ends of the earth, and then you say, We shall be saved, we shall be forgiven. I pray for every brother, every sister, every young man, every young woman, and even the older people. I pray for everyone. According to your promise, grant them redemption for their souls now in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins, take away the guilt. Take away the condemnation and give them salvation and the joy of salvation now in Jesus' name. And I pray that the peace that comes with salvation will set you in every heart. And the assurance of salvation will be given to everyone now without exception. You said, whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise for no reason cast away. You receive everyone that comes, everyone that comes from the name of the Lord Jesus is saved. Thank you, Lord, for their salvation. Thank you, Lord, for their redemption. Confirm it in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. Say, it is done. that they need so that we can follow us and you for your progress in the faith later. As we said, we'll take over now. And then after we finish this, then I'm coming back and every disease, every sickness in your body, the Lord will come. Keep on standing, keep on standing. Our 
Shabbos Shalom. Council House and Bear. Giving so that we can follow the people up, we can be able to assist them. The name of Jesus is the greatest of all names. Can you please uh, reach out if you have not been attended to? Please want you to raise up your hand so that the people can Uh, see where you are. Choir administration now from the upper location. Amelia, can you help us? Okay, those who are on radio and television, we want to tell you that there is this um, link just there on your television. Just uh, click on that link, it will take you to a page where you can fill in all your data and you will be able to submit it be able to attend to you online so let's do that those who are listening by radio and those who are online either by facebook or by other online platforms you will see that link that link there just click on it and you will see a form that will show up and you will put in your names right there and all the data all the information that is needed please we want those who have uh, finished in all our segments and clusters please you can see the basket in front of you please don't forget to put them inside the basket please let's be fast let's be fast you have little time now let's be fast those who are finished can help us go closer to other areas where we have the need please if you are finished in that cluster can you please wave your hand at the left hand side there you have finished there can you raise up your hand and wave it at me please the supervisors should help us 
change at that cluster there. Can you raise up your hand? Your far left here. Can heal the heartache that has crushed you? Can you please wave your hand to me? Who can fall the bomb of heaven where the heart has Let's be fast, please. Nobody should be missed. Let's give everybody that has decided for Christ the opportunity in his or her name. And let's be very fast. Don't forget that tomorrow we have lunch hour with Jesus for all those who are deciding for Christ tonight by 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow right on this ground in one of the halls of the university here. Just come, you will see a hall just by the left here. You will come there, you will be shown where the lunch hour Jesus will hold at 3 p.m. tomorrow. There is a package that is being handed over to you even tonight. You will find the details, the letter from our pastor to you. The letter is there. You will find that letter. Please read it. Pastor will be explaining a lot of things there for you. So don't forget, tomorrow is 3 p.m. right here on this crusade ground. And so you come and the Lord has something for you there. Three p.m. Lunch hour Amen. with Jesus. Jesus will change so lives. Our counselors, please, please. If you are the far we'll left and you are finished, CS please. In that uh, cluster, can you, can you wave your hand, please, the supervisors? Wave your hand to me if you are finished at the far left. The okay. general superintendent. Of the deep and light Bible, Very close here, the left hand side. Pastor, Can you raise up Dr. your hand w. in Kukui, that cluster? The defender of the faith. If they have finished, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, supervisors, you can like that, do that. Help me raise up your hand if you have. Feel it. <laughs> it is for you. Amen. I said it is for you. Amen. Please collect the cards from all those who have healed and make sure that they are submitted to your supervisor and it should be put on the basket in front of you. It can happen. It will happen. Amen. It will happen. Don't forget, tomorrow too, the ministers have a time with our pastor by quarter to seven tomorrow morning. Ministers, Christian workers, professionals of whatever profession our pastor wants to pour in success principles to your life. So don't miss it tomorrow morning for Christian workers and for ministers, professionals or whatever career you may be in tomorrow morning, right here tomorrow morning, quarter to seven. So don't forget that it's going to be wonderful. You will not miss it. Yes, Lord. So please. Our will continue to do. supervisors, Lord, please, can you wave your hand if you have my finished? Thank you very so much. Lord, the next, the next uh, cluster, please, if you have finished, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Lord, at the left there, God bless you. 
at the center here. If you have finished, uh, can you raise up your hand? The supervisors, please help me. If you have finished. On that, uh, that central part, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Okay. At the right hand side here, if you are finished on your uh, cluster, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Please. The supervisors, can you help me? Check up, check up, and uh, help me. If you are finished, can you wave your hand at me, please? Oh, Dominion God. is there because God is there. Let's be fast. Oh, Dominion is available because I God is there. Don't ready. forget, we Dominion are not to go yet for you. because Present the Dominion, man of God is going to pray Dominion, for us Dominion, and it's going to be very, very direct, simple, over there, and you effective, are over there, powerful, and, we need to make and realistic. You, you will see it right there the word and, of then. God, and then. You can walk Nothing like go and come right and there to and that then. Light time and don't forget, dominion. you'll carry you your in our country, you understand back home in our tonight. stage. That's when so the produce is in the farm. Provision is in the to feed the stage. Uh, please and let's to be feed fast. The nation. If you are but at the right hand no side of the stage and you are finished, can you please wave your hand? And the people uh, cannot move on can you do that? Please your hand and wave it at me if you have. No road to take all please do that so I can know that you are finished. Some governors and our own governor here in Ogun stage. Constructing roads, roads, so that at the far right, there if they are finished, please. Okay. Take Thank you very much. Please, it ought to be. Thank you very much. At the middle, at the middle of dominion. Help me show uh, dominion. the central part of the, of part, uh, the uh, congregation. The Can you please raise your hand the way of the Lord. and wave that it at me? Okay. For God you bless you. Tonight, the Lord is about to do the something, on the highway, and the, the pastor is coming back now, so that and he is coming for something real. In Jesus Raise name. up your hand I'm and you stand up, say, because something is coming your way. Praise the Lord. Healing coming your way. Deliverance coming your way. Miracle coming your way. You are anxious if you are there. You are worried. So and you say, how can you I ask in faith? get to that you dominion? You receive full testimony in your mouth. And for a lifetime, how can I get are you there? Ready? The Lord sent me to tell you, lay one hand tonight is your appointed where time. Where you have the problem, say if possible, them, that raise up the other hand. As we pray, fear not, the Lord will give God you a complete break. Great having you. Incredible your women. God. I wish they had those kind of cool the careers creator. for your women God. when we were growing up. Your God. Thank God. you. God. So in this flashback, we're all the same age. Your yeah. God will oh. come. So, Tonight, what does everyone want to be when they grow up? Yes. I want to make immersive video games. Oh, I love the arcade. If I say two jobs, do I get extra credit? No. I want to revolutionize 3D printing. 3D? Like those glasses we wear in movies. I want to analyze data from the cloud. I want to be a meteor. You need meteorologists. No. Are you there? That's great, Al. Follow your dreams. Your God will come. He will come. of the dead shall be stopped, and it is from the dead shall be stopped, and it shall be stopped, and it shall be stopped, and it shall be stopped, and the tongue of the dumb sea, for in the wilderness shall be stopped, and it 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 shall be stopped, and Kneel down before him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him.
the way of holiness. Of course, you understand, it's a holy God in a holy heaven, surrounded by holy angels. And then the men who have left this world and they have gone, holy men and women, the streets, holy streets, everything about it. There's no defilement, there's no sin, there's no corruption there. Holy. And because of that, the highway and the path that the Almighty God, the holy God of the holy heaven, the highway that he makes shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over in the your name is Paul. 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 Your name is Pa
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the throne of every heart of every Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We come into this place right now, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, recognizing that you are the head of this church, God. Recognizing that you are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Recognizing, Lord God, that you, you cannot fail in this situation that we're going through, Lord God. Whatever's going on around the world, Lord God, we magnify you. We take our minds off of other things and we place it on you right now. But Lord God, presage with me. I take credit. We give you all the glory this morning. We give you all the praise this morning. We honor you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We honor the Holy Spirit in this place. We honor your presence in this place. We honor you, God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for standing in this place with us. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, for blessing this place, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for all things, Lord God. Remove me out of the way, Lord God. Bring things to my remembrance that you want to speak to your people, oh God. Open the hearts and the ears of your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let them see none of me but all of you, God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Just give honor to Bishop Jackson and First Lady Jackson. Amen. I give honor to you, Pastor Bracey. Amen. Hallelujah. On this youth Sunday, I give honor to everyone in the house today to the youth bless you god bless you god bless you amen hallelujah in the name of jesus lord we just thank you hallelujah we thank you god hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord god thank you lord hallelujah thank you god hallelujah it's hard to pull away from it hallelujah in the name of jesus when the presence of the lord hallelujah it's hard to pull away in the name of jesus hallelujah the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for making this day for us. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. I do have a title today. With all your soul, with all your mind, I say, Jesus, Jesus, I see that in myself. Thank you, God. The way Thank to you, salvation God, is not there, but now the I know. Now I know it is that necessary God has sent you for you to take your turn. Way, the only way to Ready, salvation, set, and the only way to dominion, go. and tonight, it's your turn. Amen. Amen. It is necessary for you to take your yeah, turn. God bless you. It is necessary you, for you to step up Both when it's your turn. Come. Don't give Tell it to nobody else. It's necessary for you. If it's your turn, it's your turn, and it's necessary. We're going to come in from 1 Samuel chapter 16, and I'm going to skip around so you don't have to stand because I have a few scriptures that I will be reading. There's no harmony. But I will be coming from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. There's no harmony. He knows Have the you right ever thing. played he in a game the way to go, where there's, there's no rules? Harmony to join and I know here we have a lot of rules, and, and if you don't set the rules but when you first start the game, Christ people start changing the rules, and you're not know supposed to do this, and you're not supposed to do that. And even though you've done Hell it before, you know, I ain't talking about Hope nobody in this church, you know. <laughs> um, and, you know, at certain uh, games, when we play cornhole, the cornhole's got to be a certain feet together, away. You know, you can't step over together, the line. If you no do, harmony. you know, they you say, oh, you stepped on the line. It ain't good, you know. Together, and then there's games that you play like football and basketball. We know I some people that play football. That you can't deflate footballs and stuff like that, you know. And then we can't, you know, step over the line. So one that they step over the line, they say, oh, you off the line. And the next person, I don't know the correct terminology because I'm excited, but I do know football. Together, and then you go yeah, through this you, way who is Christ, you get offside, and, and so they'll call, they'll throw a flag. If you don't follow life, the rules, if you, they say you can't go offside, they throw a flag. You gotta follow the rules. That you make, so it's the same thing right. in the Bible. You have to, to follow the rules you know, when it's your turn. Step step, you have to follow the rules. So you know, sometimes we go for a race, and you know, Kiki she ran track, and Amara they ran track, and Jeremiah from verse eight, Romans chapter ten, reading from verse eight, and then they shoot the gun. And some the things, 
Lord. Ready, set, it's go when the kids are the out there playing. The but this is what you. God is telling us today. Get in position. Get ready. Ready, set, go. Because it's necessary for you to go. It's necessary for the next person for you to go. If you stand still, there could be a hindrance for somebody else that want to take their turn. You have to go so the next person can take their turn. Amen? Because when you're waiting in line, the person back here is waiting to go. When you're standing in position, they have to wait for you to come all the way around the track, hand them the baton so they can go next. Correct? to rule my life. I try to control my life. I try to And so today I'm here to give you some instructions on how to go when it's your turn. If you're next in line, after you hear the sound, you must take your place. And as we know, we've already heard the sound from Bishop Jackson when he said, it's your turn. So nobody should be sitting still right now because all of us have gotten the commission to go. It's your turn, right? So I want to come from 1 Samuel 16, chapter 13. Oh, somebody say, then Samuel why? took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that, that day forth. Life, so Sam, Samuel Christ, rose up and went to reign. Your Lord. You have, uh, been and then if we skip over, I want to go to 17, you hold number 20. In a local church, whatever position you hold in a, in a denomination, you are satisfied with that. And it says, and David you know, rose up early in the morning the and church, left the sheep the with the keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came everyone. to the God church as the host was going forth. you know, my Lord, you are my Savior. To the fight and shout it for the battle. You, an older person, you take him as savior. As the husband is taking him as savior, the wife is taking him as savior. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. You taking him as savior. You confess with your mouth, you proclaim with your mouth, you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. I shall believe. So I want to talk about the familiar story of David. We all know and we've all heard the story of David, how he was anointed, how he was picked over from his other brothers, and he was the keeper of the sheep. We all know how God anointed David to be king. We all know the story about David. But I want to point out some things about David that we might not have looked at in this particular story. David was the unlikeliest of choice to be king of Israel. And David was overlooked. His own father did not even think that he was qualified. Sometimes in a race, people can look at the players Redemption and judge your life them today. based you on the history God's of their place. Only way they pick the out the ones they think is best because at of how two far two they can grow or two. how far they God's ran before way. or God's how many yards way. they've had in the game, healing how many points they can make on the basketball court. God's and they pick their people that, you know, they have these fantasies where they pick the certain teams that they want by their character, about what they've done before. So people can qualify you or disqualify you based on your outward appearance and your in my body. But God doesn't do that. I will have David was a man body. that messed up at times. He didn't cross every T and dot every body. I. But in Acts 13, 22, it says that he Hell. raised up them, he raised up for he them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after God's own heart, who will do all tonight. my will. David was a man after God's own heart. God did not look at his outward appearance. The Lord will and 1 Samuel everything. 16, 7 says, But the Your Lord body, said unto Samuel, Look not on there, his countenance, or on the height everything. of his stature. The because I have refused him, the for the Lord seeth not a man seeth, for a man looketh everything. on the outward appearance, the but the Lord looketh on the heart. Anymore, so I'm going to well, tell you today you to that as to you're going to forth, as you're taking your turn and you're about to go, you can't worry tonight, about who's going to qualify you and who's going to disqualify you based on that God has already qualified you to take your turn and do your race. You can't depend on life going through the race or going through it's your turn worrying about if you're tall and enough, then, if you got what it whatever, takes, if you're strong enough, if you look right, if this does right. You, you have to know that God has Jesus equipped cancer, you if you're small, you're tall, or whatever the case may be. You know, God has always cancer, already anointed in you in the, in the to brain, be who you're supposed to be. He's already anointed you just like he has anointed David. He's already anointed you for this time right now to take your turn. It's your turn to go and God has already anointed you. 
for, so it's necessary for you to take your turn. And why is it necessary? It was necessary for David to take his turn. If David did not take his turn, he would not have been able to take care of the lion and the bear. If David didn't take his turn, he would not have been able to kill the Philistine giant. He would not have been able to go and get his stones, kill the giant, and then cut his head off. If it wasn't for the anointing that flowed on him beforehand, he would not have have been able to, to do what God had chosen him to do. He would never have been able to tell, tell Saul, I killed a lion and a bear. He has some, some, some backup to him. I've done this before. You don't know who I'm working with. God has anointed me for this reason. He's anointed me. He allowed me to kill a lion and a bear. He's anointed me to do what I got to do. No, don't worry about this. Don't let your heart be safe. I can handle this right now. And that's how you got to be in the midst of your situation. You got to rise up and tell him, do you know who I am? Do you know that God has anointed me? No, you need to back up and you need to recognize that I have the power of God. You can't allow people to intimidate you because they think they see your outward appearance or because they think that you you lied before, you cheated before, or you drank before, that you are who you was back then. No, you need to recognize that I'm a new creature in Christ, that I am who God says I am. You don't have to take nothing from nobody. What you've seen in the past is the past. You need to look at the person that is in front of me and that is through God's eyes. We're here to represent Jesus Christ. We're not here to take to let the devil tell us that we're not good enough. We're not here to let the devil tell us that we can't make it. We're not here to let the devil tell us that we're defeated. No, we are not. We are anointed by God to do the work of God. And the youth, you need to recognize because sometimes things come all in, in front of you. You know, I tell you this all the time. But you get in front of people. You get in places. And when you're you're not, will be open. when you're Tonight, not in the presence or if you don't have the mindset I didn't to be in God, the enemy the comes of the dead And I remember one time all the dead I was praying the and I was talking about something of those and I heard in my head, who are you? Everything will get who, in, who are in you? renewal I, tonight in Jesus' name. You, you start to feel a little How? bit. I'm like, Matthew wait a minute. Eight. I know chapter who I eight, am, devil. From verse 16. I know who I am. When and you need to recognize the Jesus that's come. in me. Because he'll try to come and he'll switch these words around. And he'll try to make you think that they're scripture. And he might try to think that if you don't know the word of God, that he can use it just like he did on Adam and Eve. Because he switched the words around. It was still similar words, but he missed some words in the thing. So they thought, oh, wait a minute. This might be true. But you need to know the word of God for yourself. You need to know the word deep down inside. So when he come up against you and say, who are you? You can't make this. Oh, yes, I can. I'm more than a conqueror. You need to start speaking to yourself. We cannot walk around no more when it's our turn feeling defeated, feeling like we can't make it. You are, you can make it to run this race. Ready, set. Go, because it's necessary for you to get to the next mark. It's necessary for you to get to the next destination. It's necessary not for just you, but for your children's children, for your grandchildren, for your neighbors, for the people down the street. It is necessary that we take our turn right now because the people out there are waiting for us to go. They're waiting. They're waiting for us to go. They're waiting for us to stand up and take a stand. Jesus, they're waiting for us. That was seen. Who are the people inside? It is necessary. It is necessary that we put down the phones and pick up our Bibles. It is necessary for us to pray. It is necessary for us to do the will of the Lord. It is necessary for us to be holy. It's necessary for us to be righteous. It's necessary for us. That was it. Look at chapter verse 17. It says in verse 17 uh, that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, uh, Himself took our infirmities and bear out. For this moment, we are grateful unto you for your faithfulness, love, and mercy towards our lives. We thank you for another time to learn at your feet. I pray, dear Lord, in heaven, as you open the pages of the scriptures unto us tonight, our lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name. And as we sing together now, Lord, I pray, you inhabit the praise of your children, and you bless us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like? 
I come to thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. like unto thee among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness doing wonders hallelujah who is like unto thee who is like unto thee among the gods glorious in holiness fearful in praises he is Lord he is Lord he is risen from the dead Lord, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord. Amen. He is the Lord. Every tongue. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, every knee, every tongue is Lord. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontide, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him till the sun goes down. Praise The sun goes down, goes down. Praise Him, praise Him in the morning. Praise Him, praise Him. I am running the race to me. My Redeemer, I am running the race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer, my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer, my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet my Redeemer. Running the race to meet my Redeemer. I am running the race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, 
heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer.